This is a counting wheel. It is based on our number system, base 10. It has a zero at the top and then counts one through nine. And each time you go around, you add a 10. So if I were to start at zero and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, this would be 10. And then this becomes 11, 12, and so on. When we come through twice, this becomes 21, 22, 23. And when we go around three times, it becomes 31, 32, 33. We use this in our skip counting exercises. And the way that you do that is you take a piece of thread with a loop on it and loop it around zero. And when you are counting, you wrap the thread around the number. So I'm going to start by counting by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Now, each one of these will have a particular design and I will go through the first five because then they repeat themselves backwards in the opposite order. And I'll show you why that works in a second. If we count by threes, it's three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. It produces a really pretty star. If we count by fours, it produces a pentagram. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, and then it would continue on with twenty four, twenty eight. 32, 36, and 40. Five is the most simple of them all because it just goes back and forth. Five, 10, 15, 20, like that. So this is what the designs that each of the numbers make. If you look at one and nine, you notice they're the same shape. And two and eight are also, as well as three and seven and four and six. You'll notice that the center of the circle gets smaller until you get to five where it's non-existent and then works its way out again. And then <clears throat> Actually, nine should be every dot, not this pentagram, because that's eight. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about the reason that this happens, and also about how to talk to your children about it. So the reason that this happens is if you notice, when we count by twos, two, four, six, eight and 10, we get a pentagram. When we count by eights, because eight and two add to 10, it's essentially going backwards by twos. It goes eight, 16, 24, 32, zero. And that works for all of the numbers that correspond. So it works for one and nine, two and eight, three and seven, four and six, the number bonds. When you are working with your children on using a counting wheel, initially you just want to practice skip counting. And then when you get to the number nine or the number 10, you can spend some time putting these on paper. 
And then you can do a I notice, I wonder, and see what they come up with. If they don't happen to catch that 1 and 9 make 10, then ask them if they notice if any of the shapes repeat. And when they notice that maybe 2 and 8 are both a pentagon, then you can say, oh, I noticed that 2 plus 8 is 10. I wonder if that works for the other numbers. And then let them add the other numbers to see if it works. Then you could say, why do you think that works? And you could play with your number will to see if you can figure out why it works. The idea in introducing math here is for the children to have their own discoveries so that there's an epiphany for them and a excitement in finding something new that they didn't notice before. So even though I'm telling you these things in the video, be sure that you try to lead your child into discovering these things for yourself, themselves. It won't always happen, and that's okay. And different children have different personalities. Some children may just want you to tell them. But it could be an exciting journey for several children.